This is OncuView.tv coverage of ONS 2010, and we are delighted to have with us Dr. June Eilers, clinical nurse researcher at the Nebraska Medical Center. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm very pleased to be able to be here. You've been with ONS a long time, 20 plus years, started in the kindergarten program. Yes, even maybe preschool. Preschool. Uh -huh. What changes, progress have you seen during that time? It has been tremendous for me to see the difference that we can make for patients in terms of we today see patients living much longer. The thing that saddens me is all of those patients who I knew decades ago, who if they had only waited, could now be cured of their disease and long-term survivors. And as nurses, we are making just a tremendous difference in terms of symptom management. And that's really what excites me regarding my job. You and your colleagues did some fine work in developing a clinical instrument for the assessment of oral cavity changes. Can you talk about the importance of this work and why you chose it? It became apparent to us that as patients were developing oral cavity problems from the cancer treatments, we really were not doing a good job of measuring it. Everybody's accustomed to knowing what a patient's blood pressure is and what their temperature is and what their pulse is. And yet when we were talking about changes in their mouth, we would use general terms like it's really bad, it's ugly, it's terrible, it's better. Well, how much better is better? And became very frustrated that we couldn't tell when we were making a difference. And so at that point, we went to the literature because it was like, surely there's an instrument out there to guide us. And there was not an instrument available. And so we worked together as a team with the nurses in the clinical setting to develop an instrument that would be clear, concise, and clinically useful. Then for me as a researcher, that it would also produce research data. And out of that then grew the oral assessment guide. If you could influence one aspect of oral mucositis related to nursing care, which one would you pick and why? I think the, the most important aspect about oral mucositis is convincing patients regarding the importance of doing oral care. We at this point in time do not have a magic bullet that works for everybody. And so the one given that I am convinced we can tell them is if you will do diligent oral care frequently, it will make a difference. Besides the obvious numbers, why do you believe oral mucositis is such a critical aspect of nursing care and oncology? Well, again, it's very interesting to think about mucositis in light of the oncology world. Everybody who works in oncology knows the tremendous risk of infections, and we try to be careful regarding catheters and other breaks in skin. And what we don't realize is there are normal organisms in our mouth and gut. And so when people develop mucositis, there's actually an opening into their bloodstream. And so the organisms that are part of your normal flora can immediately go into the bloodstream. And there are patients who have died from infections that came either from their mouth or gut. So it's really a fast track for infections. That it's an open door. Once you have a breakdown in that mucous membrane, any organism that's in there, it's a two-way door. They can go in. And once they get in the bloodstream, they then go any place in the body. Okay, so someone of your stature would feel safe to be able to ask, where is it with this magic bullet with oral mucositis? Unfortunately, although we're continuing to learn a lot about mucositis, we're learning about cytokines and we're learning about activators and targeted agents and that type of thing, we have not found the magic bullet. Now, the more we learn about mucositis, the more we learn that it's very multifactorial and it's very complex. So it is my hope and my dream that we will find multiple mini bullets that can make a difference. But just as there isn't one treatment for all cancers, I'm not certain we'll ever find one treatment for all people with mucositis. Depends on what stage, what phase, many other aspects, which is back again to why routine mouth care is very, very important. That's probably the one thing that will carry them across 
the mucositis experience. And it'll keep you busy. You've got more work to do. For the rest of my career. There you yes. go. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Dr. June Iowers from the Nebraska Medical Center here on Oncoview.tv at ONS 2010.